truth in. And we couldn't have confidence in the integrity of their reports and their testimony. And so in good conscience, we could not see these convictions stand. Leonard Gibson says Officer Ronald Watts framed him and took years away from his life. I went to jail and did two years, 24 months for Watts. I came back home, we put another case on me. In 2013, Watts, then a Chicago police sergeant, was sentenced to 22 months in prison after pleading guilty to theft of government funds. An FBI-led investigation showed Watts and another officer stole money from a federal drug informant. The conviction has led to a review of hundreds of cases. Gibson, like many other men whose cases were exonerated, says Watts planted evidence on him. If you're not going to pay Watts, you're going to jail. CNN was unable to reach Watts for comment. It is the prime example of the phrases that we hear, the thin blue line, the code of silence. Never, I've been doing this work for close to 15 years. There is no case, no situation that I have ever seen that comes close to exemplifying the code of silence than this one. Ben and Clarissa Baker spent 10 years apart as Ben sat in prison. It's torture, like, because you, you think in, in your head every day, like, how did this happen? Well, somebody Both faced drug charges connected to the rogue officer. At the time, no one would hear their cries of innocence. No one would listen? No. What would they tell you? Um, there's nothing we can do. Um, you need to call um, your alderman. Did that. Wrote the alderman. Talk to the FBI. Help arrived in 2015 when lawyers with the Exoneration Project took on Ben's case and helped overturn his conviction. Now I finally really feel vindicated. The Chicago Police Department tells CNN seven more officers have been placed on administrative duty while the department's internal affairs unit looks into other cases connected to Sergeant Ronald Watts' team. Ryan Young, CNN Chicago. Wow. Ryan, thank you for that. It's a new way to enslave a motherfucker.